And now let's get to coagulation cascade. And, uh, you know, the factors. So let's go through them. One, this is gonna be a big table. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, still no. Protein C, protein S. And I'm gonna put here, let's say, what is the name? Zimogen, what does it mean, Zimogen? Proenzyme, it's a non-active form. Zimogen cofactor, liver, vitamin K, half-life, thrombine, anti-thrombine. Old term was anti-thrombin-3. Well, maybe still I will know some other things. Let's leave it like this. So, what is the factor one? What do you call that? It's fibrinogen. Factor two, pro thrombin. Factor three, tissue factor. Four, calcium. Five, what, what is this one? It's pro acetylene. And you're very good, we're gonna talk about it. Problems, a mutated factor five causes light mutation. But it's not for today because we're doing bleeding and light end means what? Light end means thrombophilia. Okay. I'm sorry? So this is pro axillary. Six, we don't have it. Seven. <laughs> it's pro some animals are we don't. Pro converting. Okay. Eight. Very important for you. Again, anti-hemophilic factor. I I could put anti-hemophilic factor A. Nine is anti-hemophilic factor B. Actually, you know it by the name also Christmas. Ten is Stuart Prover. Eleven is anti-hemophilic factor C. Okay. Twelve is Hageman. By the way, you don't have to remember Hageman too much nowadays. You can forget it in connection with bleeding. Because if you have decreased levels of Hageman, although you will have prolonged PTT times, you won't bleed. So you can sort of forget it about, okay? For today, Hageman. Factor 13 is, very important one, fibrin stabilizing factor because you have a fibrin mesh and this still makes a bridges between it and like stabilizes the fibrin mesh okay protein c protein c is protein c protein s is protein s maybe i could already mention about these two what do they do this is a and that's why it's here it's a cofactor this is the enzyme so this is a enzyme this is a cofactor okay and they, what do they do? They decrease or block activity of factor five and eight. Block five and eight, okay? Protein C and S, they block activity of factor five and eight. Okay? So, still I'll make a over here comment which important molecule protects the factor eight now tell me which one protects factor eight again bone villibrans very good and now which out of these are enzymes tell me true enzymes so it's perhaps, so i will put zimogen because when it's cleave it's a active enzyme so z z z over here tissue factor it's not an enzyme calcium is an active what about pro axillary? It's a cofactor. Pro converting, it's an enzyme. Z for zimogen, okay. Factor eight, cofactor. It's not an enzyme. Nine is a 
9 is an enzyme, stood prober is an enzyme, this one is an enzyme, this one is an enzyme, but you can forget it for today. This one, I this one is an enzyme as well. Okay, and over here, E means Z. That's an enzyme. This is a cofactor. Okay. I'm sorry. So, first six. No, it's not as emotion. No, no. Fibrinogen is not an enzyme. Or fibrin. No, we don't have that. No. Okay, and no. So enzymes are 2, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12 if you want, 13, and potency. Getting hard, isn't it? Over here you have the cofactors, okay? So remember especially uh, 5, 8, potency. What about liver? That means which of these are produced by liver? Five and eight are cofactors. Yes. And and tissue factor is a cofactor as well. And protein S. Okay, cofactor, 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 cofactor. So again, once more, cofactors are tissue. You can find it out later. It's not so crucial. But what is crucial is now liver. What uh, what are what do liver produce out of these ones? So which come out and it's easier to say which are not produced by liver. So obviously, tissue factor. So I will put L every, everywhere where, where they are produced, okay? So L, one is produced, second is produced, this one is snow, calcium as well. This is a liver, this is a liver, this one is a liver. This one is the liver, this one is the, all of them, all the others are from liver. So all of them except these two, okay, except factor three and four, okay, no liver, no liver. But one very important, one more very, you see if you would read it before, you would be well oriented now. So, but this, now, now important stuff. Still, I, I mentioned all of them are made by the liver, but it, it's not exact. What if I ask you which all of these are made by hepatocytes? All of them except one. And which one? And this is crucial for today. Remember from today, factor eight is not produced by hepatocytes. Factor eight, hemophilia eight, it has nothing to do with hepatocytes. It has to do with endothelial cells, which are located in the liver mainly. So endothelial cells are producing factor VIII, all of them, but mainly, and the main, uh, main production is held in the liver. How did they find it out? They were thinking, hey, this guy has a hemophilia A. So let's, give him, let's, let's do a hepatocyte transform. They did it, it didn't help. What would help this? Liver transplantation, that helps, okay? But not have out of sight uh, uh, implantation or uh, transplantation. So please remember this is crucial. Factor eight, endothelia. Okay, now, now simple things. So that's it for liver, but vitamin K still. So simple for you, which one are produced by liver? You know this, uh, <laughs> by liver, but with vitamin K. Two, seven, nine, and 10, very good. Half-life short is 5, 7, and protein C and protein S. I don't know if I sh should tell you which, you don't have to remember, but remember, thrombine activates factor 1, factor 5, factor 8, factor 11, and both of these, actually. Factor 13, that's important and also protein C and protein S. I will talk about this. They act, uh, trombin activates them, it cleaves them as well. It's a very strong enzyme that cleaves everything. And it, 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 it's the center of coagulation, thrombin. So it, when it's activated, it turns all of these on, okay? 
And last thing, finally, and it's the same, it's very similar. Last thing, but don't remember, you don't have to know everything out of this, but it's crucial for today, that's why I'm drawing you like this. Anti-thrombin 3, or anti-thrombin nowadays. Today we call it only anti-thrombin. What is anti-thrombin? What is anti-thrombin? It's a molecule which has a, its own activity and blocks many of the enzymes. And it's, it's very similar to vitamin K dependent ones or, or factors. 2, 7, 9, and 10. And also 11, 12. Okay. So 2, 7, 9, and 10, 11, and 12 are blocked by anti thrombin. In all the times we call it anti thrombin 3. And this molecule is important for what? It's anticoagulation. And it's massively activated one, with one very important drug. It's heparin. And it boosts that and heparin, when heparin gets bound to anti-thrombin 3. Heparin plus anti-thrombin 3 or anti-thrombin, it speeds it up a thousand times. It activates like a thousand times more. Okay? So th these are 2, 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay? So th th this, this is horrible, I know. But, so, th so th this is a summary of the, of the factors. Okay? And very simply, let's get to coagulation cascade. So, how is it? There is a extrinsic system, cascade, intrinsic cascade. There is a common one over here. Common is made by which, which factor? 10. This is per thrombin cleaves to thrombin, and thrombin cleaves fibrin, and th th this makes a mash, fibrin. But thrombin also activates all the factors I told you, 1, 5, 8, 11, 13, Okay, and factor 13 over here stabilizes the mesh. Okay. So, what are the extrinsic and intrinsic pathways? So this one is simple. Tissue factor is the cofactor to which enzyme? The seventh one. Okay. So together, seven plus three plus calcium and phospholipids. Form now. Now we call it a extrinsic tenase. This is extrinsic extrinsic tenase. Xase. Okay. And how is it with the intrinsic cascade? You can, we can forget the twelve, nine, and eight. And this one, when it's activated, cleave this one, and this one together with activated factor eight. So factor eight plus factor nine, again with calcium and phospholipids, forms the intrinsic tenens. I know it's horrible now for you. Anyways, I can help you with this. Look at these. What are these? All of them. Those are anti-hemophilic factors. Okay. So you remember these are these take a part in the intrinsic pathway. Okay. So that's extrinsic. You can you can copy, you can find it out later. Don't, don't you don't have to copy this so so much. The main main thing is what so. So how is it with the cascade? The intrinsic pathway starts, or with, if, if there is damage to a vessel, which of, out of these starts the, the reaction? 
if the extra is a tissue factor. And you should, you should imagine it as a, let's say, a starting plot of a uh, one more or whatever, one more, okay? So it starts the input. What's the main enzyme of, of this start? It's the thrombin, okay? So you start, you start the cascade with the, with the extrinsic kinase, and it forms a thrombin. And then thrombin, there are a few molecules of active thrombin, and the thrombin then starts the intrinsic pathway by these factors. They, it eclipses all of them and initiates them, okay? And you should look on the intrinsic kinase or intrinsic pathway as a, let's say, a gas of, 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 of the cutter, okay? So you started with, the, uh, started with the extrinsic kinase, and then intrinsic kinase speeds up the process, okay? Yeah? The intrinsic pathway can initiate the process? Uh, mostly it starts with the extrinsic one. I, it's so complicated, I'm sure you can start it with also with in some way through the intrinsic. But nowadays, as we learn it, it's first extrinsic pathway and the intrinsic like initiates the, like a, really like if you step on the gas and you are making X fall, X fall of the trumpet. Okay? Yeah? So, so, so this is very likely, say, the uh, to, to repeat you the coagulation cascade. I still have to speed up. So, uh, so th that was coagulation cascade. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.